like to give you both one of our special little mermaid badges. Oh, really? Really? <gasps> oh, oh my god. Goodness. Yo, that's so cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is I awesome. I wanted to see what the hair That is so oh. sweet. That's cool. I'm gonna go sew this on something. Gotta wear this to premiere. I'm gonna find a yellow shirt to put it on so I feel like <laughs> you guys. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given from a woman role model in your life? Oh, wow. Um, one of my favorite directors of all time, her name is Marsha Z. West, and she's not with us anymore, but she um, is the first person to tell me uh, that when I'm performing, I get to bring my whole self to it. She said, be everything that you are, you get to bring it to every role. And I think about that almost every day. For me, it's, it's got to be my mom. And I wouldn't say it's a specific piece of advice that she's given me, but it's just over the years, <clears throat> she's just really been there for me and really made sure that I feel free to, I guess, just be myself and, um, I guess, pursue the passions that I want to pursue in, in, in filmmaking. So, yeah. We love the music in the film. What are your favorite songs from the movie and why? Mm -hmm. Um, For me, it has to be Under the Sea. I have to say, like, I really like how, for all the fish, they look so real and it, they look so familiar. Like, it looks like something that you would see if you were to go swimming in the ocean and just how they all come to life. I think it looks really, really beautiful. And obviously the music complements it so well. What was the best thing about pretending to be a talking crab and fish? How did you get into characters? Oh man, uh, the best thing was that we all got to hang out together and, yep. and work together. So that was probably the best for me. Mm -hmm. To get into character, I like, you know, watched a lot of crabs walking around, you know? <laughs> Spent a lot of time on the beach, like looking at crabs and... Yeah, I, I, had to, I had to do a lot of research for this one. I went to a lot of beaches. It was tough. It was really hard, but I think I, I think I pulled it off. It was worth it in the end, all the beach work. Yeah, for me, obviously, it was really cool to kind of be with, with everyone. Davids and Aquaf David, Davids, David and Aquafina, <laughs> both of them. He hung out um, with both of me all the time. But yeah, I mean, just obviously just spending time around a lot of fish, just learning about the different kinds of fish and kind of how they live just really, really helped me kind of get into character, yeah. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you on a movie set? <laughs> I was just talking about this. <laughs> I, this was, I wasn't on set, but I was, I, it was right after I finished shooting and affected all of my work on set. So I was, I don't know if you know this, but I am over 40 years old. And when I turned 40 years old, I decided to start skateboarding. Which, do you guys skateboard? No. No, start young. So I, yeah, I was too old to start this, this hobby, but I did it and I got on a skateboard and I tried to ride over some train tracks and I fell and I fell really hard and I like cracked some ribs and I was all messed up and then I had to go to set the next day and I was in a TV show where I was supposed to do a bunch of like stunts, you know, I was supposed to run around a lot and I could barely walk. So I had to like sort of pretend I wasn't hurt all day and then they found out I was hurt and then I had to bring in my stunt double to save my life. Like I couldn't do anything. It was, it was very embarrassing because I did it to myself. <laughs> For me, I would have to say, I was doing this movie and there was kind of like this dance sequence that they ended up cutting out of the movie. <laughs> but, um, so it was all for nothing. But basically what happened is we were in this mall and there was this, this, this prop mayonnaise. And I just thought it'd be a good idea if I, if I tasted the mayonnaise because I thought it'd be funny. And I don't know how old the mayonnaise was, but it was pretty old and um, older than you guys probably. But um, <laughs> I ended up after the dance, luckily after the dance, also keep in mind, the, the, they only had the food court closed because we were in the food court of the mall and there were still people in the mall kind of gathered around just to see what was filming. And uh, in front of everyone, I just, and I had chow mein, um, a lot of Chinese food prior for my lunch and it all came out. I, I ended up, um, vomiting and just just bleh, all over it and everyone saw it and it was it was the worst <laughs> it was definitely the worst but uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> love the 
lastly, we'd like to give you both one of our special little mermaid badges. Oh, really? Really? <gasps> Oh, oh my god. Yes. Yo, that's so cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. That I is awesome. To see with that is oh. so sweet. That's oh. cool. I'm gonna go sew this on something. Gotta wear this to premiere. I'm gonna find a yellow shirt to put it on so I can be <laughs> like you guys. Yeah. Thanks guys. That was really fun. Awesome.